to the latest on COVID-19. Overnight, 832 new COVID-19 cases were reported here in the state of Nevada. That brings the total number of cases in our state to more than 28,000. The state health department also reported no new deaths, so good news there. So far, more than 440,000 tests have been performed statewide. And as COVID-19 numbers continue to climb, officials are trying to make sure that businesses comply with safety orders to avoid any chance of another shutdown. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey joins us near the only business that's been punished by county officials in the Valley thus far. This Lowe's on North Nellis is the only one that county officials say that they have penalized for not following the rules, including wearing masks and social distancing, but they've warned plenty of others and state officials are cracking down too. They're out in nearly every community. State and county officials checking to make sure everyone's doing their part to contain the deadly coronavirus. Clark County inspectors have checked out nearly 5,300 businesses. Warning dozens for mask violations and failure to enforce social distancing like the Mandalay Bay, Aria, and Silverton casinos. The state is also knocking on doors. And they are first initially doing observations. Victoria Carrion administers the Division of Industrial Relationships. She says a 40-person team under OSHA has visited nearly 2,000 businesses, checking for signs and compliance by staff and customers alike. We have as many of them out there as we can at any given time, uh, and they they are starting to visit businesses where we think there we can have the most impact. Like businesses where a lot of people gather at one time. You have to fail an inspection twice to get cited, and they've hit just shy of 98 businesses statewide with hefty fines, averaging $4,400 up north and $5,900 in southern Nevada. The initial penalty starts out at about $13,500, and then there are reductions for various factors. Now, Kedion says that you can always call OSHA offices to report any businesses that are allowing bad behavior, and they also say that they have a team set up for businesses to get help with following the rules as well, just a phone call away. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.